Now that is an old driver. So I have got Ping I 1983 driver. Believe me, when you sit this behind a ball, it looks apt. It looks it, well. It's slightly bigger than a hybrid. Um, maybe borders on uh, a smallish three wood. Interesting looking club and the way it's steel shafted. Um, it's very much a classic old driver that many of you will be familiar with this. Uh, you'll have seen this club before. I don't know whether many of you will be like I am, never hit this club before. Very interested to see what it does and very much interested to see whether the average golfer can get any sort of performance to match up to uh, one of the newer drivers. So uh, I've got some numbers I've already hit with the G400 Max here this morning, so we'll use them as a barometer to measure against, but I'm gonna start off by hitting this 1983 driver and just see how much technology has moved on in the last, what's that, 17, 34, 35 years maybe? Right, now the first thing to work out with this is what tee to use because uh, it sits very, very low in comparison to where, uh, in terms of, when I say low, in terms of the height of the face. So the first thing is, let's move that out of the way. What tee to use? Well, we'll try, we'll start proceedings with this. It's an odd looking thing. And like I said, when you've been used to the modern driver for so long now, it's, uh, this should be interesting. Let's make sure we're good to go on Skytrack. We are. You see, there's a smile on my face here because I've got slightly really interested to see what this performs like, but also very conscious that I've got a camera about 10 foot away from me looking straight at me. And uh, I don't want to let one of these out down the right and, well, you know what I mean. What a strange feel. Let's see where we're going in terms of... Okay, so where did that go? Okay, so that's our starting point. I'm gonna try, let's try this yellow T. So we've got, uh, what was it? 205 carry. Not the best of starts for the old ping driver. Let's see if we can get something better than that. It's such an odd feeling. That's a better strike. Yep, much better number. So we're getting, we're getting a bit bigger. Well, we're getting a bit bigger. It was an incredibly low spinning, which is what something, someone mentioned that earlier, actually how low spinning this driver can be or these types of drivers can be. The feel of it, well, Someone said they felt lovely. I think they feel horrible. I don't want to upset anybody. Certainly a lot better. Got, I'm happy with that sort of T height. Um, decent strike again. Just looking where I get these from. It's one of them whereby, uh, believe me, if. Um, A decent ball again. People who play golf with these kind of clubs, they definitely had to be on the money in terms of finding what is a small sweet spot. Okay. I won't give nothing away just yet, but uh, hitting them, I think reasonably well. I think we're giving it a fair, fair go. I can't say that um, I won't be, uh, I won't be partexing this 400 max. I'm hitting these all right, you know. I'm hitting these okay. It's just amazing to see where golf clubs have been and where they are now. I'm quite surprised in, in a lot of ways because I'm hitting the ball reasonably well. It's not by any means, and I don't need, again, I always say this, I don't need a computer to tell me, it's not traveling the distances 
um, I can't generate that kind of uh, distance out of it anyway. Um, but yeah, it's doing okay. I'm gonna say okay, it's doing better than expected. That was a decent, that was a, that was the longest ball I've hit. Oh, I'm, I'm quite surprised I'm quite surprised at the performance that I've, uh, that I've gotten out of this really um, maybe the first shot wasn't the best shot and got off to a bit of a negative but I've certainly had the last three shots absolutely bang out of it Maybe I will be changing the G400 Max. Right. I'm going to hit one more ball. I go as far as to say, even my th comment about how it feels, when I've gotten the ball out the middle, and I think that's the issue here, it don't feel too bad. Decent ball to finish. Uh, real interesting one, real interesting one. My opinion from the first ball to the last changed quite considerably. And it just goes to show that no matter what golf club you're hitting, um, it's always important to find that sweet spot because things change quite considerably in terms of performance. The difference being, I would say, um, I'll have a look at the numbers in terms of what the, what the club head has done in terms of performance. But I would suggest, as I suppose quite obvious really, is the size of the club head, the size of the sweet spot has increased, as well as many other things, no doubt. But what I'm quite surprised at, like I said, is the overall performance, which I don't think is too bad. So let's go and have a quick look at these numbers. Right, there it is, golf balls hit with this uh, ping eye. Let's have another look at that. Pretty much found the centre quite often there, you know. Uh, that shaft, which I've no idea, I'm trying to find any detail on the shaft, but I can't find a thing on it, to be honest with you. Um, but it was good fun, good fun to hit. Interesting to see the numbers, and uh, we'll just have a look at, first of all, so from driver, now at the driver uh, of nowadays, I would be getting, if I'm swinging uh, reasonably well at my swing speed, I'm looking at getting in around the sort of 143, 145, ball speeds that's for me so that's with a swing speed of getting up to sort of 95 96 mile an hour so uh, swing speed was uh, less than that I'm just going to measure the shafts as well and see well I'll tell you what I've got my driver next to me here so length of shaft well, actually very very similar that hasn't changed at all straighten this camera up a bit that seems a bit better um, so no difference there, but when I put that, I'll film again shortly, I'll put these two club heads together. It's just like looking, it's like David and Goliath in terms of the two uh, heads. And I would think that standing over a ball, like I said, if you were a player in the day using these things, uh, you have to be a far better ball striker. There's, there's a lot more chance of missing the ball uh, with this little ping guy than there is with this gigantic G400 Max that I've got alongside me as well. Um, but the numbers was kind of, um, in incredible the spin was low I suggest they got a couple high up there but two and a half thousand spin which would be you know it's a fantastic number it's a kind of number that I'm getting off the G400 max at the moment which is great the carry distance unfortunately um, well 213 so it was a lot of longest carry you got 225 yards out of it as the longest carry which was quite a respectable number um, and overall total distance was 236 which again I'm, I'm reasonably pleased with performance longest ball was uh well, we got two and they got there in different ways if if the spin number is right and the rollout is right we got one at uh, 225 carry which got to 246 overall and i got a 213 that went to 246 but it was a very low spinning ball and another ball there over 240 so i think i mean and the interesting thing for me was was the dispersion apart from two balls which fell off in terms of distance there was a grouping of so what did i hit in the end there four five eight, seven shots overall uh, five of those shots were grouped quite tightly, would have found the fairways, in fact all would have found the fairway, so like I said maybe I should consider swapping this to this driver, but great fun, 
great to see. The history of Ping is fantastic and the clubs they've made over the years have been pretty damn good and even this from 1983 you could still play a bit of a round of golf with no doubt and, uh, and still perform okay. Right, comments down below, let me know what you thought of that one. Like I said, a few, few videos at the moment, just a little bit different from the norm. Uh, just to see what you think of this, uh, just a, like I said, something a little bit different. Anyway, comments down below, thumbs up, don't forget that bit, and uh, as ever, thank you for watching.